Clover Hills JV Cavaliers return home for the matchup with the Huguenot Falcons, and it would be Austin Fry taking the opening kickoff for the Cavs and making a strong return downfield, carrying it back to the 50-yard line. The early passing efforts of the Clover Hill offense was defended well by the Falcon defense, but on the ground, Joel Caleb was bouncing his way through the Huguenot players and moving the Cavaliers inside the Falcons' 30-yard line. Andrew Olson took another shot at going to the air, this time connecting with Thane Bruce over the middle to drive the Cavaliers to inside the 20-yard line. Olson's next attempt to take to the air was not as successful, and after the interception, the Falcons take over on their own 10-yard line. The Cavalier defense came out fired up and stopped the passing game with Thane Bruce making the hit to cause the Falcon receiver to drop the pass. And then Austin Fry stopped the Huguenot running game short of the first down. However, on the punt, Huguenot would benefit from a roughing the kicker call, and they would be able to keep control of the ball. Again, the Cavaliers put pressure on the offensive line. Chris Lowe and Connor Donnelly making the stop behind the line of scrimmage. The passing game seemed to be working best for the Falcons, and they began to move downfield though the efforts were nilled several times with penalties during the drive. The Falcons returned to the ground, but their running game was also brought to a halt. Austin Fry and Stanley Morant, along with more penalties, halted the Huguenot drive, and the Cavaliers took over on downs near their own 40 as the first quarter came to a close. Clover Hill had little success on their drive and returned the ball to the Falcons via the foot of Connor Donnelly. And then Donnelly went to work on defense and kept pressure on the Huguenot quarterback. Coach Ricky Brown kept an eye on his defensive line who were rattling the Falcons. A bad snap and tackle by Donnelly had the Huguenot offense facing long yardage. But an opening was found by the Falcons as they worked down the right side to take the ball 45 yards downfield with A.O. Oliver finally making the takedown on the run. Huguenot made little progress after getting to the Cavalier 25 and Josh Carey's tackle, a stop by Dean Fournier and breaking up of a pass to the end zone by Fry forced the turnover on downs. Joel Caleb carried the Cavalier offense to near midfield on his run after taking the pitch and blasting his way up the field. Andrew Olson went to the air with Javante McKenzie making the reception. With time running down in the first half, Olsen connects over the middle with Chris Conklin to get the Cavaliers inside the Huguenot five-yard line. The Cavaliers return to the ground attack, and Joel Caleb would put six on the board with the run around the right side. The extra point attempt also good. The Cavaliers take a seven-point lead into halftime while there was a little bit of dancing, uh, I guess that's what it was, on the sidelines. As the teams returned to the second half, it was obvious the defensive coaches had done their job during the halftime break. Neither defense gave up much ground during the third quarter. Chris Lowe, Thane Bruce, A.O. Oliver, and Connor Donnelly making standout plays, while varsity players Sean Cavanaugh and A.J. Clanton entertained the crowd with play-by-play -play from the tower. And the Cavalier cheerleaders pumped up the crowd from the field as the game went into the fourth quarter. Austin Fry deflected the pass from the Huguenot offense to open the fourth quarter, and the Cavalier offense returned to the field with the Falcon defense keying on Caleb. The handoff went to A.O. Oliver, who took the ball 30 yards downfield, but the Falcon defense rose to the occasion, and the Cavaliers were forced to attempt a 40-yard field goal. Christian Conklin's kick would fall about three feet short of the goal, and the score stood at 7-0 Cavaliers. Once more, the Clover Hill defense came out with great plays and looked as if they were going to shut down the Huguenot offense once more. But on fourth down, the Falcons used a little razzle-dazzle to work their way down the field. On this drive, Huguenot would find success with their passing game and move deep into Clover Hill territory. As the Falcons returned to the ground, they were finding little or no progress. And as time ticked off the clock, the Huguenot running game became their downfall. 
as what looked to be another stop on the rushing game turned out to be a fumble recovered by Clover Hill Stanley Morant, sealing the win for the Cavaliers who go to face off with Manchester next week at home. Final score in this one, Clover Hill 7, Huguenot 0, Cavaliers another win at home.